This video will explain the concept of a type of linear lift called a telescoping lift, or sometimes referred to as a cascading lift. The advantage of this type of lift is when one section lifts, every section lifts. A prototype starts with a linear slide track and an inner Delrin slide truck. There is also a single pulley on a short drive shaft supported by two pillow blocks attached to a small 3x3 three three piece of flat plate which is attached to the track. The Delrin slide truck is attached to the linear track by a pair of half-inch standoffs. This allows clearance for the pulley drive shaft to pass between the track and the Delrin truck. On the other end of the track is a plus gusset, which is attached to the linear track in order to serve as an anchor for the rope. Here is a picture of the first stage of our prototype. Next we add a second stage, identical to the first, with the exception that the pulley is on the opposite side. A rope is passed over the first pulley and tied to the bottom of the second stage. Here is a picture of the first and the second stage together. As the rope is pulled down on the pulley of the first stage, the second stage goes up. Now it is time to add the third stage which is identical to the first stage. Here lies the key to the telescoping lift. A rope is tied to the base of the first stage, over the pulley of the second stage, and tied to the bottom of the third stage. As the gray rope of the first stage is pulled down, the second stage lifts. The pulley on the top of the second stage rolls up the red rope and lifts the third stage. More stages can be added to the lift system. In this diagram, the blue rope is tied to the bottom of the second stage over the pulley of the third stage and to the bottom of the fourth stage. When the gray rope is pulled down, the entire lift goes up. Unfortunately, physics rules, and if the lift moves up nearly three times the height, it takes three times the force to lift the system. This is only a prototype for proof of concept, but its principles could easily be expressed in a fully operational lift. In addition, it should be evident that a similar lift could be designed using sprockets and chain instead of rope and pulleys.